and happy Video Monday. Tisha Mahar here. For this week's video, I want to talk to you all about cognitive performance and essentially tell you about what you can do or suggest some things you could try if you're trying to improve the way that your mind is functioning. Um, whether that be for like long-term um, benefit or for short-term. So in the situation where you're, you know, for example, writing a test. So I'm writing a really big and important exam on Wednesday, so two days from now. And for the last few weeks, I've been experimenting with all kinds of different things to figure out what is going to make me work or perform the most optimally. Number one, what I've been playing with was food. So breakfast, not eating breakfast, eating different types of breakfast. Now, this is really, really going to vary from person to person, but the one thing that I know for myself is that if I eat heavy anything in the morning, I feel terrible, I feel sleepy, and I don't feel energized. So I know that about myself, so I knew I had to go light. I tried all kinds of different things. Honestly, I feel the best if I eat a great, balanced, nutritious meal the night before, and then have a little snack, a blood sugar balanced, stabilizing kind of snack before bed, right before bed. And then just not eating in the morning, especially since the exam is going to be early, I think this is going to be my best call. Now that said, I am going to utilize a little bit of supplementation before the test. This isn't going to work for everybody. A lot of people can't do, you know, fasted anything, um, yet alone write and concentrate for an exam. So you have to feel this out for yourself. I tend to do really well in a fasted state. My blood sugars are stable enough for that. So you really have to assess that for yourself. Um, the number one thing though, no matter who you are, as far as breakfast goes or meals before an exam, I wouldn't go with anything super heavy, like anything processed or fried or, you know, fast food, that kind of thing. And I also wouldn't go super carb heavy. So I would avoid having like muffins or like, um, you know, like a bagel or like a waffles or anything super carby because usually, um, generally carbs can kind of make you tired. So just be careful, especially with carbs. Go with something like, you know, um, a whole grain, um, healthy bread with some almond butter or if you eat eggs like maybe two eggs with some greens or um, you know almond butter on an apple or something like that something balanced something that's going to stabilize the blood sugars don't just have carbs by themselves and don't go crazy carbs um, so that's with regards to meals before the exam and again the fasted thing unless you you've played with fasting in the past don't go there, especially before an exam. Um, but for some people, it can actually make you clearer and more on, and that is the case for me. That said, the one thing I will be using before my exam is a little bit of caffeine. Yep, I do find it really turns my brain on in a serious way. I'm not gonna go crazy, I'm not gonna have a huge Starbucks coffee or anything like that. This is what I'm going to be doing. I love using, these are called, uh, well, this is a little individual pack, but basically the product is by Vega, and it's called the Sugar Free Energizer. It has caffeine, herba mate, ginseng, and it has some adaptogens, which kind of help balance out the effect of that caffeine. So you feel stimulated, but it doesn't hit the adrenals, if, if you know what I mean. It doesn't tax the adrenals. Um, I love this stuff. So basically what I do is, half of a pack usually to one pack. Um, so half a serving to one serving in the situation of um, an exam. Before a workout, I'll have a whole one, but for the exam, I, if I wanna just have to get a little bit of a, you know, um, boost, I might just go with a half. I gotta decide that still. Um, but anyway, yeah, what half to one serving of the Vega um, sugar-free energizer, so it's sweetened with a little bit of stevia, that's where the sugar-free element is, there's no like um, malitol or anything like that in here or any aspartame or anything, it's just, it's just a little bit of stevia. So I am going to be using a little bit of this. I have been experimenting with some other things as well, one of these being MCT oil. MCT oil is a very efficient source 
of energy. So your liver doesn't have to metabolize the fat the same way that it does other sources of dietary fat. This is basically a readily available source of energy for your body. So, and it's blood sugar stabilizing, not like, um, you know, sugars are. So I do love MCT and I do use it from time to time. That said, I find it upsets my stomach a little bit on an empty stomach. And because I've decided to avoid food before the test, I think I'm going to pass on the MCT. But that said, it is something to try out if you are somebody who's looking for, you know, um, again, that cognitive improvement. So try out MCT oil. It absolutely works. Again, just for this particular case, I'm not going to be using it, but it's awesome. And I love this stuff. So um, MCT oil, you can find it in any health food store. The next thing I want to discuss is something called acetyl L-carnitine. And this is a particular amino acid, which sometimes... Um, well, which is most abundant actually in animal products. So us vegan girls and boys, after, you know, many years of, of, of eating a vegetarian vegan diet could potentially be a little low in this amino acid. And, um, I don't think I have a deficiency in it. That said, when I do take this stuff, I do find that it really gives me a boost. So I think that there's something to that, like maybe I could benefit from a little bit more of these certain amino acids. Um, and in, and I could perhaps take, you know, more protein powders or BCAAs. Again, I just don't really feel that they're necessary. But for brain and cognitive performance, this is something else that I love, acetyl L-carnitine. And... Um, it basically just helps your body uh, metabolize uh, fat stores as well a little bit more efficiently. So if you, again, if you're in a situation where you don't have like a lot of food in your body, your body can tap into its own fat stores or utilize fat stores a little bit more efficiently so that you're not um, running out of energy. Um, Acetyl-carnitine has become very popular in uh, with uh, for patients with Alzheimer's. Um, and um, again, for for uh, people functioning with diff or dealing with different types of cognitive problems, so it's a fantastic supplement for your brain. Acetyl L-carnitine. This is something else that I suggest. And my plan is to take um, two or one one capsule of acetyl L-carnitine, five hundred milligrams, with my little Vega, and also with one more thing. So the third thing I want to talk to you guys about is called Ginkgo, Ginkgo Biloba. And Ginkgo is another product, another, this one is a herb that is helpful for memory via um, the process or the fact that it, it improves circulation big time to the brain and to the eyes and to the nervous system. So another wonderful thing for improving cognition, ginkgo. Um, some people say that it takes quite a while before you really notice a difference. I noticed it pretty much right away the first time I took it. I took quite a bit. I took um, 1.5 milliliters of this stuff, which equates to about 375 milligrams of ginkgo. Um, and I would certainly, you know, try these things all separately before you make a little stack like I am. But, um, yeah, ginkgo, another thing that I think is fantastic in terms of um, imp uh, improving focus, concentration, memory. So I'm going to mix my Vega for a little bit of caffeine with my acetyl l carnitine and with my ginkgo. Um, I'm going to take some water, put this in add the ginkgo, and then take two of these and um, rock that exam. That's my plan. And um, yeah, I feel good about it after weeks of experimenting. So again, also give the MCT oil a try. Note that it can upset people's stomach a little bit. Start with a small amount, like maybe a teaspoon um, or so, and, and just see, again, how you feel. A lot of people, uh, MCT oil has become famous in the last 
five years or so because everybody's adding this to the coffee. So this is one of the main ingredients in the, the bulletproof coffee recipe that you've probably heard about. Um, so, so yeah, you could try adding it to your coffee or your green tea or just taking it by itself or um, in a smoothie, whatever you like really. Um, it's essentially, it's very similar to coconut oil except it is the, um, um, it is the, uh, uh, just a slightly different chain of the coconut oil fatty acids. So it's been isolated away so that it's again, a little bit more, um, readily available to the body. And, um, I like to use MCT oil specifically before a workout. So it gives you a good boost of energy. You have, again, that readily available energy source, but without eating a lot of food and, and feeling weighed down or like all the energies in your gut. So give that one a try too. Um, thank you to those of you on the Facebook page who shared the things that you like to do. Some of those things were things like meditation and yoga. And of course, in terms of overall brain power for long term, let me just quickly go, go into that. I'm always rambling in these videos. I'm sorry, you guys. So for long term overall, health and brain health specifically, you need to make sure you don't have nutritional deficiencies. I mentioned that at the beginning. You need to especially make sure that you're getting enough omega-3. So the essential fats are so important for your brain. Um, vitamin D. So again, that goes in with the other vitamins and minerals, but specifically the B vitamins, B12, vitamin D, iron, you need those for brain function. Um, Omega-3, what other things? Choline is really important for your brain. That's something also that some vegetarians could get could become deficient in if they're not careful. Um, meditation, huge, 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 huge. I am fully going to be, I do, I meditate twice a day for 20 minutes, 20 minutes in the morning, 20 minutes at night, but I'm fully waking up in time to do exercise for 20 minutes, just like a quick little something or other, speed walk or something, because that is really good as well for waking up your body, for boosting the blood flow and to get into turning your brain on. So exercise is so important. Meditation, I'm going to do a uh, my meditation in the morning before the test for sure. My intention is to finish my meditation with a visualization exercise, really visualizing my, myself having tremendous success in the exam. So all of these things, so important. Exercise, yoga, meditation, and some awesome supplements, a special little supplement stack of some kind. I hope you guys have a great week and I hope that this helps you and um, yeah, happy brain, happy life. Have a great week. <laughs> See you soon. Bye guys.